Hi, 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 everybody. Welcome back. Today, this video, if everything goes up correctly, will be coming out on Halloween. So, happy Halloween, everybody. I am I am dressed up. I got my fun Jack Lantern earrings. I have, let me, like, show you. I have this heavy Jack Lantern top. But I wanted to, I know this is probably, like, super late because now, basically, Halloween is gonna be over, which is kind of sad. If you are, like, me... I will still keep a lot of this up. You'll see as we go on that some of the items that I bought are actually for other times of the year. Let's go ahead and jump in. First things first, I went ahead and picked this up. So you'll notice a lot of my stuff is collectively going to be like Target, Walmart, Goodwill, Dollar Tree, Home Goods. So first thing I purchased is this pillow from Target. This was $10. I'll go ahead and show you a couple of things that I am planning on using these for next year's springtime. So these jack-o'-lantern things that they had, I thought they were super pretty. They do light up. I don't know if you can see, but they are $30, so a little pricey. But I just thought it was so pretty, the butterfly and the skeleton. I just, I feel like I could put this out any time of year, but it really kind of gave me like springtime vibes, you know? I did also get another one so this one sun is another pumpkin same situation same price lights up this one you can see a bit more with the light up but i think they're just so pretty and very like i don't know i kind of like want to do like i'm thinking a witchy nature-esque kind of vibe for spring time obviously we still have like christmas and winter and all of that but because they're not going to sell spooky decorations year round i kind of want to buy it ahead of time next piece that i was super excited about and this is 20 dollars is this massive it's like a gravestone thing but it's just wood it's just trick-or-treat from target oh i didn't even say those last two pieces were home goods the pumpkins this is another piece from pump or from pumpkins from home goods and if you know me i do not hate gnomes like everybody does i know everybody attack me be shocked by me whatever i kind of find them cute they're definitely not like my favorite thing but i don't know i think they're i think they're cute i'm not gonna say i hate them because i've been buying a lot of gnome stuff anyways this one here i'll just show you this is gonna be for pride so i decorate for pride because i don't celebrate fourth of july if you don't know because like yeah it's kind of an after up holiday uh you know, anyways, so <laughs> this is going to be for Pride. So it's a gnome with a little jack-o'-lantern, which I think is so cute. And then it has this Pride hat, and this is $15 at Home Goods. That's a really good deal, in my opinion, for the quality and everything. It's super cute. Okay, next up, I have, I am, I, like, as I was just pulling off all these decorations and stuff, I'm going to be so sad to put them away or whatever I'm gonna do with them once this season is over. I don't know if I'll be able to because I just love them a lot. So this I got from Home Goods. I took off the price, but I think this was like $19.99. So it's just one of those you know, book situation hollowed out things, but I just, it's the same, you know, print on both sides, but it's very vintage, very cute. And I love that even you could just put this on a shelf with the Happy Halloween. It's just, I'm very happy I bought it. Moving on, is that everything on the ground? Oh, I don't think I said it about this. I still need to carve this. So this is a week in advance that I am filming this. So I haven't yet decided if I'm going to carve this, paint this, but I know that I want to, I want to start buying any one of these every year. So this is just one of those fake pumpkins and this is 15 dollars but i like the i kind of like the idea of saving my jack-o'-lanterns i guess like as i create them each year i'm not saying i'm not gonna buy a fresh pumpkin again but for this year you know i could carve this whatever i totally just realized something i did not add in here we're gonna add it in real quick sorry it does have my dirty makeup brushes in it but this is these super cute witch shoes I could not find that many of them. It was $5, and when I saw one randomly in the Halloween section, this belongs in the Bullseye Playground from Target. I keep forgetting to say where all this stuff is from. So the pumpkin that I showed you was also from Target. But when I saw it, I was like, I have to get this. So I did. Okay, next up is going to be... Yeah, we'll just go for it. So again, I feel like my taste and stuff is just kind of weird. Which I'm okay with that. I love it. So this is, I think it's just called a garden gnome, is it? 
ghoulish gnome. I have yet to put batteries on him. He is evil, and I love that. I think he's, like, so cute. I love this. And this is, like, the cutest thing ever. So, here. Yes. Oh, that's so cute. I don't know. I need to put batteries on him, but I think... I think it's... It's very, very cute, and I'm super excited to have it. Okay, next, here's another piece I'm gonna keep up year-round. If I didn't say that last piece was from Target. This is also from Target. I think it is just the cutest thing. It's one of those little skeleton dogs. This might have been 20 I don't remember. I did take the price tag off. If I didn't already say, I'm tempted to calculate at the end and to see how much everything costs. Okay, next up, this is from Goodwill. This is just a fun, cute little sign that says, drink up, which is, this is from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree? I haven't gone in, like, forever, and when I went the last time, which was, like, mid-ish right through October, they had this, so happy Halloween. Please stop in for a salad. This is from Target. These are $10. Every single year, because I have, I think, all of them, except the little figurines, like, the little people, but I do have all of the signs so far that have come out, so I did pick this one up, Coffin Club. This I had bought, so like I had bought some stuff probably July, June, I don't know, like I feel like I kind of get in a slump. I literally go from Pride, which is in June, and then I go like straight to Halloween. I feel like I was like, I just want to be Halloween so bad. So I did find this on Target's website. I believe this was like three bucks. It says $6.99, but I do believe that I got it cheaper. It's just a little Harry George book. I'm just using it for decoration, honestly. Next, these came from the Bullseye Playground and Target. I feel silly. I did not realize that they're both the same sign, but I do like what they both say. So these are each best adults. One side says pumpkin pie baked fresh daily. And then the other side says autumn leaves and pumpkins. Please. They're just cute. So this I'm actually really excited about. So this came from Dollar Tree. I did doctor this sucker up though. So this came completely plain. I painted the face. I don't know if you could tell. I also added like a piece of back in. Literally I used a piece of box because hello, we're not wasting things. This is the Halloween Town book. I got it from Etsy. I believe it's like Repla Casa or something. It ended up, I think it was like $30. I don't fully really remember. I know I got it in the hardback style, what I wanted. Okay, next up. Okay, let's just pull these out. So these are from Home Goods Martha Stewart line. Aren't these the coolest things? I, I want these shoes. I mean, don't we all? They are the coolest witch's shoes ever. Here's another piece from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is like stepped up. This is like heavy and this is really nice. It's three stack jack-o'-lanterns. It is like the see no evil, hear no evil, seek no evil. Next up, this is from Goodwill. This could have originally been from Dollar Tree, I'm not sure, but it is so cool. So I'm definitely really trying to make sure to go to Dollar Tree first just because like this cost me $3 from Goodwill. Not saying that I don't like buying secondhand because I do, but because there's another sign you'll see that I believe I paid two dollars for that I know was at the Dollar Tree, and so it's kind of like, ah, here's another one of those plaque things. I'm not a massive fan of the tree hanging off to the side, I don't know, but I love the scene of these skeletons rocking out. Another ten dollar piece from Target. So these came from Dollar Tree, and I think these are super cute. It was you know, dollar twenty five. For the two little signs just again for me if I haven't described my style yet is I'm going very maximalist kind of like I really want my walls to be covered Sorry, again just sip with my drink real quick but I kind of want I love like when you go in like restaurants or whatever and they have stuff on every single wall I just love that look and it's gonna be like I have so much leg space it's gonna be a long while to build up to that and especially because I still take stuff down it's like I keep the same stuff up all year round but lately I have been keeping at least one decoration up I really like that so I'll have to figure out which one that'll be this year but okay here is from Target in the dollar spot or Bullseye's Playground just this cute little thing I'll probably keep this out all the time it says hot coffee 50 cents per cup served fresh daily it's really super cute Cute. I almost passed on the sign, but then I couldn't. It's, it's, she's seen a little bit of better days, but it's, it's so cute. So it's $2.99. It is these three cats, and they just say happy Halloween. Isn't that just so adorable? 
Okay, these, I have three of the same of these ones. These were, I could not pass up on these. They were a dollar. I did have to kind of play around with them. Again, they came from Goodwill. They were kind of like falling over a little bit, but there, there's these little super cute harvest baskets. Next up, this is another piece I picked up from Goodwill. I had actually picked this up in July, June. I don't fully remember, but it was, you know, quite a while ago from Goodwill. I think this was $3. This is probably my favorite Halloween decoration of the year, and I don't know if I can put it away. I think I might have to keep it out year-round. So this is Jack, and Jack is this cute little jack-o'-lantern. Jack has kind of gone through it. His uh, head pops off, but it's okay. It's on a spring put it away, but I even just realized it has a little Frankenstein bucket, and it has his name, Jack. I just think it's so cute. Next is another sign from Dollar Tree. So it says, Happy Halloween. It's the most spooky time of the year. These are just really simple signs. And again, for a dollar twenty-five, you really can't pass up on that kind of deal. Next, I did get this from Home Goods. Hocus Pocus is my absolute favorite movie. So of course, wanted to get a new pillow. Hocus Pocus Co., which is wanted. It is just super, really cute. I think this is like twelve ninety-nine, so it's a little pricier, but it's I liked it a lot. Very nice. I'm going to pull this sucker out. So this, I think, might have been $35.99. I don't fully remember, but it is this super... I just realized there's a cat behind it. That's so cool. These three check lanterns I just... Oh, and there's a crow. I'm like, there's just all the details. This is just one of those really well-made pieces that I'm really happy that I bought. This is one of the pieces that... This came from Dollar Tree, I know for a fact, and I saw it at Goodwill and I bought it. And I'm kind of hating myself, but I also really like this sign. So it's a dollar ninety-nine, not bad. The Society of Black Hats, a fly by night group. It's just cute. I like it a lot. Next, this is another one. So this is actually a dollar ninety-nine. Isn't this so cute? I think I messed up the little face a little bit, but like, it's it's so simple and cute. This little sign was ninety-nine cents from Goodwill. All right, couple books. So, as you've heard me say now, filled five million times, Hocus Pocus is my favorite, favorite movie ever. And of course, we know they were coming out with the new ones this year. So, I went ahead and for my birthday, got myself a couple of little goodies that came out. Now, this one came out over, I think, last year, if not before. It's just a little 13 days of fun surprises silly stuff. It's still really cute. I totally forgot. There's like fun stuff like a book keychain. Just cute stuff. And I forget how much this was. I don't think it was too expensive. Next up is from the, again, Hocus Pocus. So this is a book that came out called Hocus Pocus Bell Book. It definitely does not follow like the original book. I have not looked at it since before the new movie came out. Now that I kind of see some of this, I know that there are people in here that I did not know anything about. So I will definitely have to re-look into here. But I think this is like pretty inexpensive. So that's really good. But this is this cute book. I do not see a price. Started at Target. Super nice. This one, I cannot wait to show you. You may have already seen this, but this is the large Hocus Pocus book. So I feel terrible because they made them look hideous. Let me just like show you a photo. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Can you see that? Look at how bad they look. Oh my god. They look mortified. My favorite detail about this book is actually what lies underneath the slipcover. Are you ready? I lost my freaking mind when I saw this. If you are a diehard fan, you know how the movie starts. And you can probably already see a bit of it. So this is the back of the book. So this is not even the cool part. This is just them, the three sisters. But are you ready? Do you see that? Do you see that? Isn't this so cool? So this is the cover art for the original movie. Oh my goodness. I am dying. I don't know if it's exact. I honestly don't really fully care. It's exact enough for me. Oh my god. I love this. Like, I want to get this as like a poster if I could. Like, <sighs> when I see it, the sound is in my head. If you are a diehard fan, it's like, the sound is in my head and will be in my head forever because oh, 
I love that movie so much. Anyways, that is literally it for me. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, give me a like, comment, all that fun stuff. I really do hope that you join me on this. I'm really excited to bring you some crafting content, some more makeup content. So yeah, okay, I love you all. I will see you all in my next video. All right, goodbye. Okay, me hopping in real quick because I just realized something I did not show you. So I had bought this earlier in the year as well. This came from Amazon. It is a blanket. It's not a very big blanket, but it has all the awesome printing. I just want to show you real quick. I think it was about $30. And then I just realized that I did not like wait to film how much everything costs. I'll probably just include that in the description for all of you. But yeah, that is that. Okay, bye.